get a little crafty today. So this is a little, I guess you can call it a salt pot or seasoning pot or just a little keeper for things. And we're gonna put some itty bitty shells in it. Um, and I've got these adorable little sand dollars. Boy, I talk about little fragile suckers. Those and little bitty teeny tiny starfish. Like, these are pretty flat. I'm kind of impressed. So I thought we'd play with that today in there and then sprinkle a little resin on top. All right, we're going to attempt to do this. It looks like you can see in top. You know what? I might actually do something else. Let me see if I can expand it up a little bit and point it down. Maybe that'll help. Yes. Okay, that'll help better. Now, I'm going to try and be mindful of my hand, but I know my hand's going to be blocking stuff. So, the things that are important to put in, I believe, would be these two guys and then work the shells around them. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do a first coat today. And then uh, later, I'm going to be working and building on top of that. So, let's get started. And I think what I'm going to do is I've got some long tweezers. I'm going to try to place these guys in here and move them in into position. Wait, I wonder if I should put just a tiny bit. Yep, I'm going to take it out already. Hear that? I'm already changing my mind. That didn't take long. I'm going to put a tiny drizzle of resin in here, and that's just to add like a little glue, just for the moment. Okay. Stop dripping, stop dripping, and go. Okay. So just a little bit. Let's see if I can tilt it. I'm always tilting on you guys. <laughs> of course, the lid's going to close. not trying to get edge to edge coverage right now. I'm just trying to get a lot there just so things don't move around too much. Okay, there we go. Now we can get started. These are so stinking cute. And I drop it. Okay, let's try this again. So the goal is to put them in here and then build up on some layers of resin on top of it. So I'm going to put two sand dollars there. And since these are so small and fairly thin, I'm not worried about some overlap because I think overlap is a little bit more on the interesting side. But I do think I need to put the sand dollars top up. They look like perfect little stars. I guess that's why they call them starfish. Have you seen these things move? They're so wild to watch move. Sorry, that would be my hubby's computer he is hooked up to his phone, or I should say he's able to get phone calls on his computer if he wants to, and his phone's in the house, but his computer is out in the studio. Let's see, I think one more. Yep, okay. So literally what I'm gonna do with these guys is I'm going to sprinkle them around. And I may have to use the tweezers to get them in better position. But for right now, with my big grubby paws, I'm just sprinkling them. All right. I think we are good for the moment. Let me get this. 
here where I can see what I'm doing. This is where the tweezers are going to come in handy. very carefully. I'm not worried about it covering up a starfish. And that looks pretty good. So as soon as you're done with doing something like this, um, Put some alcohol on your tweezers and clean them off real good. Otherwise, they may end up with some rough spots. And you may or may not want them depending on what you're working on. Let's see if I can find a tiny, tiny, tiny one. It's kind of funny me asking for tiny shells in a container full of nothing but tiny shells. This one seems to have just these spiral type cones or shells in there. The last batch of shells I got had all kinds of shells. Different types, meaning there's another tiny one. Nope, I didn't go in the spot I wanted it to. Okay. There we go. Okay, so there's a tiny bit of resin down here. Remember that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch this very carefully so I get a little bit of a spout. And I'm just going to drizzle it on top. So it's not going to give me a perfect coverage. What it's going to do is kind of glue everything down and it's also going to seep around and glue stuff because it's self-leveling so it's going to move. Let's see if I can do a little bit more. So we're probably going to have to do two coats just to get a nice level. I'm going to tilt this just to make it easier. Now if you got a fan on, definitely let this stop dripping in the middle of it because you'll get those really thin streams that will go to the side. That's no fun. Maybe I can tilt this. I was trying to get it to go on all the sides. Let's see, do I want any more? Okay, so the other reason why I'm just building up a little bit of resin on the bottom is because these things are light enough that they will float. another starfish right on top and get some layering going on. Oops. These things are delicate. Once that has cured, even though resin is not on top, it'll be adhered. It's not going anywhere. I don't know. Should I put one on top of the sand dollars? I think I should. It's so cute. All right. There we go. Keep on the mess with it. So I'm going to get to that point. It's like a walk away, Clara. So some of the sand dollars I've noticed are not completely flat. They kind of curve up a little bit. 
And that one I just put down, actually both of them, that finger there and these two fingers curl up. Okay. So this is like a perfect little project. Like if you've got just a little bit of leftover resin, you can sprinkle it on top. Another project you have a little bit of leftover resin and just build it up until you get to the right amount. So we're gonna put this little guy to the side and let it cure up and that'll make a nice little bottom for somebody. It's like a little, little surprise box. Ooh. Clara has lost her marbles. Well, the reason I say that is because I do have a little bit of leftover chameleon and it's a very clear kind of chameleon, meaning um, very light. So I'm gonna just put a little bit in here. Let's see if I can move it around just a little bit. And that way, if I put any color on the next layer, you've got like just that hint of shimmeriness in here. That's gonna look cute. Okay, now we're out of here. <laughs> or wait a minute, no, I'm just gonna bring you in. Cause you gotta see it closer. All right, there's that. Let me see if I can zoom you in. Oh, there we go. That's gonna look really cute. And do this on the bottom of a little bowl, you know, like a, maybe a, a bowl, or like a ring bowl or a jewelry bowl. It'll look really pretty. All right, later. All right, so this has had time to cure. It's done rather nicely. But as you can tell by me moving it around, there's clearly some texture. And I want it to be nice and smooth on the bottom. So I've got a couple different things worked out here. I've got some clear resin. And again, it's my go-to resin. I'm gonna dabble some on the bottom there. Let's see if I can get a little bit of that up. I'm trying to be mindful of the drips because Resin, you can get those long, skinny drips, and a little bit of wind or even my breath will blow it against the side. And I don't want that. In fact, I just noticed that the fans are going, so I'll be right back. I just turned off my fans. <laughs> It'll hopefully help me out a little bit. So I've got this resin poured in here, and I think, I hope I have enough to cover everything. So I'm just tilting it around so that it coats all of it. I'm not worried about it going up the side a little bit because I'll just put a nice seal on it. All right. Now the next thing I want to do is I've got some blue here. That's a gorgeous blue. It's got a little bit of interference shimmer to it. So it's just enough that I can add a little bit of color. So let's see, where am I going to do this? Try and do this on camera. Ha! Ah, I like hanging over it. I'm gonna drizzle some just over in this area. And I might move it around with my stick when I'm done. I think that might be the easiest way. I didn't mix it full strength like I normally would do because I want it to have that little bit of transparency to it. All right, I'm thinking about adding some more resin as I'm looking at it and I'm seeing some texture. Let me drizzle some on top of that. Okay. Oh, let me get my tooth, my uh, popsicle stick, not toothpick. What am I thinking? All right, so I'm just going to move it around. Okay, let me zoom in. That will help me out too. <laughs> We 
Maybe I should just bring it around. There we go. I like that better. Just where you get some hints. Very subtle. Let's see how I look around. Did I get the sides? No, I didn't add any strings to the sides. Yay! So yeah, that looks really pretty. Now I've got some white here. And I've got a skewer. Bamboo skewer that I use commonly for like picking hairs out of my resin. But I'm going to dip it ever so lightly in the white pick up just a little bit and I'm gonna see if I can run some little white ribbons through it clean off the tip a little bit Just kind of have some flowing lines. We have my husband and son kind of taking turns outside uh, mowing the lawn. Got it. Let's see, one more, and then I'll call it done, I think. All right. I want it to blend in to kind of give it wavish kind of feel to it, but it doesn't have to look like waves exactly. It's kind of like that hint of waves. Now let me pull you out of this. All right, I hit it with a heat torch real quick. A little dragon torch. I didn't want to do that on camera because I couldn't quite get everything worked out there. Wait a minute, is there something there? Or is that just some of that glitter? Nope, I think that's a hair. And zoomed in. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, those are the little bubbles, just in the row. Right. I'm going to torch that again in a few moments. Some areas might be a little thicker, and it'll take a little bit for the bubbles to come up. And some areas won't be as thick. But this will dry or cure up nicely in just one layer. I think I got enough on there that there's no more texture. So... Yeah, you can do stuff in itty bitty form and turn out really nice. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified. Next time I put a video up. Later, y'all.